Let's get this game underway. It's going to be Vitality and NIP here for a best of one on Dust 2. What do you feel about this one, Moses? I mean, I, I, I'm going to have to decide with Vitality on this one. Yeah, I think, I think it'd be tough not to, especially considering they have... They ha I mean, it's odd looking at a team that has Forrest and Gatwright, although we know Gatwright is, has kind of dropped off from his superstar days of, you know, 2014 and early on, but Zaiwu in the server is, is the guy, like, you, you're going to pick to put your eyes on. And I think he can just have so much impact. Here we go, NIP. The point that this is a lineup they won't be using at the Major, this is really them testing to see where Plopski's at, how he's going to respond under pressure. There can be a massive random element, as the death said, in this game, but it just feels like Vitality has done enough to be pretty strong favorites in this matchup. I do like this play from Alex. This is so cheeky. He's just waiting for it. Oh, he's going to get flashed in, but he's not connecting with the shots. He had plenty of opportunity there as the life of the USP sometimes, and RPK goes down on that bomb side. So pretty good start here for NIP. Three versus five. Saiwu going to be boosted up on top, trying to see if they get a kill. If Lecro would have gone down, he actually somehow hits that headshot. And now Lecro actually delayed the bomb plant. Saiwu still chasing them. It's going to be get right to pick up the one before Apex takes a bit of a revenge and yeah, jumping with that USP probably not going to be working out. No, not at all. And 4 HP, just back away. No chance in this even with the kit. Try and save that for the next round. See if you guys can get anything done. But a nice round from NIP. Just very simple. All five players get control of long. Slow things down for just a moment and get your bearings. And then just move forward with the smokes on the cross. That is well played, even with some elements of danger. Alex missing a couple kills for that flashbang from Carr. Zaiwu able to get a stunning shot, but I mean, the bombsite already being lost. Not a whole lot you can fight with. And NIP going to take that pistol round. And I would say even a, a nice level of commitment once the uh, smokes were up for the cross there, like not a lot of delays, there were a lot of flashbangs coming in, but they sort of seemed to commit to it. So that's nice to see NIP picking up that early round. Especially considering, I mean, the, the game, this game is, the, the level that NIP is going to come into this tournament with is so interesting to me because there's so much upheaval going on in this team for for what was at one point like one of the most stable teams and organizations that we'd ever had like they took yeah. a long time to make roster changes this one has just been so unique in a way here we go aggressive getting out long get right leading the way he's completely blinded and again alex and that usb are not friends and he does manage it with the drive-by some craziness and there's an ak on the ground and how much does nip want to commit to keeping that gun in their control look at the flank as well apex there with the kit coming through the spawn on the p250 could he catch them down the middle it's pretty long range we'll fight with a pistol he's done a lot of damage already he actually tags electro down to 39. that's kind of uncomfortable but they're holding that smoke. Oh, I can't believe it. That's Alex taking down Rez and Forrest. He's at least going to win that fight, but still really weird here. Lecro already tagged up from earlier. Now the bomb is in the middle. Forrest has to go and fight with that MP7. No armor on the other side, but that's not going to matter. They still end up losing in the round. Then it's Alex with the triple. Oh, look at Apex. Group stage game round two, and he's on his feet. Headphones off screaming what a round from alex making up for the botched pistol round that is a beautiful performance for him three kills in the round picking up that ak-47 he had massive impact obviously this flank from apex as well just chipping away at nip as they try and recover and move across the map so celebration is pretty short lived there for nip looked like they should have been able to do just fine but they kind of got stopped at long, then ran down middle and got got flanked, and it was it, it. They just never really knew what was going on in that round. It felt like. Well, the big thing is the bomb dropping in middle. Alex yeah. gets that kill. Forrest had the B bomb slide, and once you get in, it's a difficult retake with, especially with just one rifle recovered. Unfortunate for the ninjas, but staying grouped up. Four one set up. Get right, waiting outside along. They've got plenty of nades. Now get right gonna turn into his his natural role, his lurking position in Lower Dark. A couple of deagles and a couple of grenades here on the NIP side could definitely set something up. Waiting with the follow-up smoke here. No one's really reacting to that one that's already there, so re-smoking it once again. I think they're really hoping for a reaction, maybe an overreaction out of Vitality, but why would they do anything other than just wait right here? Oh god, that is actually <laughs> right between the heads. I can't even believe it. They have no I they have no idea how lucky they were. 
side, but we're still gonna take them down. And actually, that's a pretty good triple for him. I kind of had... I mean, no one died, but that was just so close, wasn't it? Yeah, it could have been, I was interested, those flashbangs landing at uh, NBK's feet uh, didn't seem to do a single damn thing to him. He had all the vision in the world, all the information did, in the world. Did that say a 36% win rate on, on those two for NIP? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't quite see that one. I was looking elsewhere. Well, that's fair enough, Moses, but I, I was, you know, hopefully, hopefully not. Maybe I'm wrong. Two to one in round number four with Glocks. No way that we can spin this, is there, Moses? Like, who would we have to... We have to hire an expert in... Not even just, like, PR, but, like... Just pure propaganda, right? <laughs> yeah, basically at this point. I think that one of the big challenges NIP is going to have on this map is, yeah, they, they have someone like Forrest, they have some very talented players, quite obviously. Hold the thought. NIP's there. I mean, Vitality's actually getting pinned down at the car, but... Zai Wu sprays him down, a flash assist as well. The, he's going to be the one, because there's no one on NIP, like, they don't have, like, that typical opera. Like, they don't have anyone to go, like, head-to-head. Zai Wu yeah. feels like he's going to have this super big advantage in that department. We'll have to see when the op eventually does come out, but for the moment, Vitality losing the pistol round, but then winning the ensuing three, put themselves in a good position early on on this defensive Dust 2 side. Yeah! Easy friends. Well, now we're really getting into it, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, now it's a dance party, baby. Let's go. Apex and RPK out here on long. That grenade looked like it could be pretty good, but I think they actually managed to run past it. And now the flashbangs, on the other hand, are working out for an IP. It's Rez to come up with two big kills. And Alex, oh, he's way out in the open. There's not going to be any cover. Third kill for Rez. Hmm. That looked very... I, I don't know... I don't mind that they lost the long fight, but I don't know what, why Alex was sort of dancing out of the open like that. That seemed like that was too much. It's uh, it's always hard when you lose when you lose some like some semblance of control at long. Like that just spirals completely out of control. Yeah. You know, it's it sometimes it happens too quickly for you to react properly and get into a good position. So, unfortunately, like losing those first two battles was just kind of brutal. So it's gonna be three to two. And the good thing for NIP, for the Swedes, is that all five players survive. Get to bring the money into the next round, bring the guns into the next round, build up some confidence with the bank that you have. Although it looks like NIP is not super committed to hunting down this last weapon, but kind of getting into a position. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's because you have so many people left, you kind of feel like you should. And actually, Forrest will do a fine job of tabbing away at NBK. Alex entering this next round with 10,600 in the bank. So that's, that's you know, even losing everything, at least they, they've got that going for them. Yeah, see, this is this is the speed. I mean, he, he returns that corner, Rez, and you can see Alex is, he's trying to get into a position at car where you can, like, change the entire tide of the round, right? If he gets there, he has a chance to get a double kill, a triple kill to give him a shot. And unfortunately, the timing's not with him. He gets caught a little bit out of the open. His teammates go down so quickly that there's there's not even, like, really breathing room thing is, I don't mind that car position in the pistol round. Yeah, you don't like it because of the spam. You're, you're big on the spams. Yeah, like those windows are pretty pretty thin. And even Molotovs, and I, I just, I just, I'm not really buying it. Rez, though, jumping down and absolutely red by Alex. That'll be a good kill to start of the round with here for Vitality Apex as well. And NBK up in the window. That's the bomb down, and there's absolutely no recovering it. Oh, that one hurts. Lecro's eyes have been burned from his sockets. And he goes down. NBK is an opper now. Apparently so. Double op set up on the CT side, and what are those ops in the hands of Zai Wu? So this defense just gets massively bolstered. Yeah, that's that's really bad news. He's he's the name everyone's been talking about, right? Yes. Wouldn't it be would it be wonderful if we get simple versus Zai Wu at some point in the tournament? Just you know. Oh, that'd be sick. Like uh, and and one like a game where they both are feeling really good about their. Uh, they're opening. I would I would appreciate that. Oh, here we go. You got to be feeling good about your opening to make this kind of a play. A narrow angle misses the shot, but he's got the smoke to allow him to escape for free. NBK, however, gets caught by that pop flash. That is a beautiful exchange from NIP. Couldn't have gone better. Apex grabs an off angle in upper dark. If you go too far at this position, he knows there's quiet on the map. He knows likely this is being watched, so going to back away. 
really wants the info, though. This is the, the tempting thing. Gonna be flashing his way out. That is so good. Lecro. Perfect timing against him. And that's gonna be back to a four on four with over a minute left. What a bold play to find an equalizing kill. Well done from Apex. He seems to have found like a certain enjoyment of the game again. It's a little bit later in his career, but it really feels to me like, just as you said, looking at him play, he seems so hyped up about everything. You're playing with Zaiwu. Why wouldn't you be hyped up? You got someone to do most of the heavy lifting for you. And Apex, you can, uh, you know, focus on what you do best. A lot of a lot of the dirty kills, a lot of the entry kills. And anchoring down this B-bomb side, he's going to be all alone. Timer on this play before this smoke clears. And if he's in the wrong position, he's definitely going to go down, but he's going to stay aggressive. Now he's gonna go into the smoke, and that might have been craziness. Alex, though, maybe a chance to recover. He's got a kill in mid. He's gonna be held off by Molotov smoke flashbang. But he can drop one of his own. This would be brilliant. This would be brilliant if he's able to make this work. The nade as well. He's gonna kill Plopsky. Never saw it coming. A three on two now in the retake. Oh, that is so smart, isn't it? Just giving, saying, no, I'm not gonna fight for the bomb side, but I will take out that bomb plant. And now two versus three. Forrest with the AWP, don't underestimate him either. He can be very, very quick with it. There's gonna be a kill on Alex now, pushing in as Get Right goes down. Forrest with one more kill, and he's gonna have one chance here. A missed shot will end him, but he's gonna get the third one too. A fantastic triple kill out of Forrest here. And that's gonna be NIP winning that round in spite of some pretty heavy odds towards the end. Yeah, and I said NIP didn't have, you know, the typical standard offer, but Forrest obviously well proficient with that weapon. Actually, a time in NIP where, where he kind of transitioned into being more of their dedicated offer. It never really felt to me like the reason Forrest wasn't the main offer wasn't because he didn't have the skills for it. It was more like he didn't actually really want to do it full time, you know? Like, he, he sort of... I don't know if he got bored with it or... or well, and he's too... just so much more fun with the rifle. It, yeah, and he is like that just unbelievably dynamic and talented player that, you know, maybe he just feels like a little bit locked into that role. But he, I think he, from a, like a output level, Forrest could obviously do it. Um, but never really seems to be his permanent thing. Well, that was a good illustration of it anyway, to bring it to 4-3. I, I would still say probably NIP need to win like... 10 rounds on this first half. That's going to be my limit. <laughs> okay. Nothing, but I'm serious. They need to win 10 rounds on the T side to have a chance in this game, is what you're saying? Yes. That's a very uh, discoordinated uh, retake from Vitality, looking back on it. Very individual fights, even with some of those kills. Forrest is allowed to readjust and get comfortable between shots. Tags Apex on the cross, which is going to be frustrating. But MBK here, as you said, now secondary all perp. Oh, they line up. That's a two for one shot. Can we get it again? He actually does do a little bit more damage. They're solo at MBK. He gets the last flick in on Necro. That is a stunning defense in spite of the fact that, I mean, that could have been four kills instead of two. He hit four shots. He yeah. got two kills out of it and like get right. That is craziness. He's going to be... That's got to be so frustrating if you're using the AWP that those don't connect in a little bit of a better fashion. Either way, he's put his team in a great position. Man advantage, Apex couldn't get involved, couldn't take the fights, and now they have a very quick flank. Everyone from NIP trapped inside this bomb site. The smoke is going to let Vitality get close up and be hulls for this retake. Three players now coming from hulls. That means Zaiwu got to be patient with the AWP. There's the Molotov force, gets aggressive, finds that, and now get right close up, but he doesn't realize it's all of them. He doesn't realize they all came from the tunnel, and Alex with three kills gets Vitality on five, and it's a back and forth affair. Yeah, that's actually a great scenario right there where you see how much the value of information is in a game like Counter-Strike, because I'm sure if Get Right had, if someone could have called it out quick enough or something, he wouldn't have been looking for that uh, that back wall, right? This is kind of, this is a, this is crazy. How does, how does he not get more kills? Kill. He deserved more. <laughs> he deserved more. Not going to get it. He'll be happy with the win, though. Sure. But still. He'll be happy as well. This should be an easier round for Vitality. Just Glocks for the NIP side and a completely and entirely an entire save. No nades, no upgraded pistols. That should give them some uh, some stuff to work with. Especially look at the money for Vitality. They they really have invested everything into this round, obviously, but still. So when you're up against Glocks, that means you could probably save almost everything, and that will really help out. No entry there. 
I don't even know where. I, I don't know if there's any way you can go here to make this look good. I, run boost, catwalk. That's like a classic, isn't it? That's not what they're going to do, but... It is It is kind of a classic, but what makes it a classic, I think, is how often we see the run boost actually fail. Oh, it's hilariously funny. Yeah, it's so good. And actually, I think we should just force teams to try it. Yeah. Just so for the comedy purposes. If nothing else, it does look funny. Oh, there's another two-for-one shot. Can he do it again? NBK at the back here. I mean, he's against pistols, but still, <laughs> give him the ace. Oh, oh Apex, Apex is a dick. Absolute bastard. <laughs> Oh, NBK had to have loved that after the previous round. That really is just straight up whack-a-mole, except the mole wins. It really is, yeah. It's like if the, if the mole was equipped with a hammer as well, that would be less fun of a game. A lot of people wouldn't play it at that point in time. We're going to have to have a conversation with Apex, though. We're going to have to say, listen, Dan, it's, you know, but please don't. Don't ruin the fun like that. <laughs> it's unnecessary. Everyone was having a real good time. Well, that's six to three. So my my ten five, you know, so my limit for NIP has kind of gone out the window already. It's not gone well for your predictions today. Let's close on that MIBR one. I feel like you know. <laughs> Mid to B smoke thrown out and catwalk control being taken from NIP. So, oh, Forrest, that is a great shot. Apex just jumping for a spot. Now, the funny thing about that is, yes, Apex goes down, but there's still two players defending this B bombsite. If NIP get lured into attacking this side of the map, I think they'll be surprised at the amount of defense that Vitality is able to mount, especially because NBK looks on point with that AWP, but they're going to have to decide very quickly, do you defend against the mid portion of this split or do you defend against the B bombsite? Oh, running right through MBK, still on point, he gets a follow-up kill as well! Oh. The third one, how is he doing it? Somehow, all three kills going for NBK. He had an AWP and they were coming out of the smoke to completely surprise him. This is... Well, what a sight to see. Down the middle, Forrest trying his best to bring it back right now, but he's gonna go down to Saibu, and that'll be Vitality winning a seventh round. Oh, NBK, that is a dis that is such a cool sequence. This should not be possible, especially, I mentioned it, because of that pick that you're saying, hey, well, we got Apex, we got one of the B defenders, let's head to that side, of the, that side of the map. And obviously, you don't expect NBK to get a triple kill in that fashion, but even Alex there to pounce and add on that one final kill to make that, that round really unobtainable for NIP. What a heroic effort. NBK's just closed down the B bomb site. Between the two rounds with weapons with the AWP and then, you know, the eco round with the AWP, He's been a god. All the hype around Zai Wu and his opping. Yeah. NBK says, hold my baguette. He's really he's really had the opportunity, hasn't he? It's been it's been fun to see. That would make it make it very odd to try and plan against a team like Vitality if suddenly NBK is doing that, you know, consistently. But what a great luxury if they can. I must say again, that shot down the middle for a uh, forest or in the B-bomb site in the beginning was really yes. nice. That was very nice. Let's uh, let's find a way to get forest in a phase. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I don't think he's ever leaving an IP. Probably not at this point, right? A bit late in his career. You know, he used to play with, uh, you know, a sort of a half Danish lineup as well. So he's got this, there are real opportunities here. Oh. Awkward. Forest. Good setup with the flashbang, but of course the Glock. Hard to make that work. Lecro. Down the middle with the Deagle. Quite, quite happy to play that game for a long time, but they are all going to get shut down. And that will be a ninth round now on the board here for, sorry, eighth round on the board for Vitality. So things are looking really, really good for the French side. Even that round, though, is a bit dangerous for Vitality coming out of long. NIP, if they're able to get that kill onto Alex, I mean, they're turning that corner and Alex is half blind. He's been damaged and you have Zai Wu also on the ramp. Everyone kind of exposed out in the open. That could have spiraled out of control. And I'm surprised considering NIP had some success at long in, in a gun round and the pistol round that they haven't gone back to it a little bit more. We, they've, they've been able to find advantages there. We might want to mention, because we've been talking about MBK and Zai Wu a lot, but Alex is 16 and four right now. Oh, that's very nicely done. The boost up, Plomsky going down. That was so fast, Anders. I mean, 
It is. It's what we have to just deal with, isn't it? Watching Saiwu. Gonna get the forest as well. Molotov. We actually get him through the door. He's a freak of nature. He really <laughs> is. It's wild. But yeah, in uh, in London, London, I believe, um, when they were playing on stage, Alex is uh, just doing a really good job. And he's kind of the player in some sense that I would, you know, you started, you would expect. It's fine if he's not going to be like the heavy hitter because you've got so many other ones. Well, it's his, it's his in-game leading. It's when he switched to taking over the calling portion on the T side of the maps that really is, everyone's like, okay, so Vitality is legit as hell. Apex, he has not been stationary on this map. He is feeling this game and he wants involved in everything. That flank is just so brutal and Rez knew it was coming but couldn't do anything about it. And now he's pushing up towards top mid. Apex is on an absolute tear. Three kills in the round. A part of that could be just because they've had such good defense at the B bomb site that he's just calling their bluff and saying, listen, we've shot you down here a couple of rounds in a row. You're certainly not planning on coming back anytime soon. I can start getting aggressive. I can start making plays and coming in for flanks. Yeah, I mean, what a call it, it is as well. They've, that really worked out brilliantly. Now we've got five CCs on, on an IP. So either embracing the madness or just, or just going mad. It's hard to say. NVK down here. Can't really see much because of the smoke. You can certainly hear them all. They're all coming right. This is bad news. Very bad news. Apex in the bomb side. Actually bad news for him too if they're all going to be running out. He needs a couple of kills quick to slow this down. Flashbang in behind him. A little bit of backup there, but actually he's still alive somehow. Deagle is now out and a good kill for Rez. NBK got fooled. Heard the footsteps. Thought it was going to be towards Catwalk. Do they go for this? I think I mean, they're going to try. I think they want to see what they'll be able to find. Two kits, Molotov, two flashes. And a decent amount of money as well behind him. Oh, Molotov. Going to at least disable Plopsky for a little bit. RPK hasn't been having a great game so far, but he's going to pick up that one kill. That's get right returning it on Cywin. Now oh, RPK out in the open. He's gonna get the one, but surely he can't get this last one. Plopsky's in the corner. RPK trying to run him down to very low time. He's gonna get the kill, but he can't actually finish the round. Not enough time for the Evia bomb will oh, probably no, almost take oh, him. Yeah, he lives. He, he goes down to nine HP. Unfortunately, he just had to grab the first gun he saw, which was an AK. Would have loved to have obviously grabbed one of those AWPs. Nice attempt at the retake though. Yeah. First uh, glimpse of Plopsky for many of us. Three and 11. Down there with Lecro also at three and 11. But I think you have to expect um, a rough map or two in this event for Plopsky. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that, that's kind of understandable. He's not being done any favors coming into, uh, as I mentioned earlier at the start of this, you know, NIP in a really weird, weird situation with, you know, bringing Dennis out of the lineup, bringing Plopsky in, but having to use Golden at the major. There's been a lot of things up in the air, the pending get right announcements that no one really knows where that's going to go. Yeah, a lot of back and forth on this uh, NIP team. Get right down the middle. That's Apex again, just taking charge off the middle portion of the map and coming out with a really big win. And MBK is over in Upper Dark. They know exactly what's happening. This is, this is not good. Yeah, the only thing Vitality don't have at the moment is a flank, and it's not that big of a deal. You have four players defending this bomb site itself. Molotovs and flashbangs, counter utility coming out a little bit early. NIP haven't crossed just yet, but it might not matter with surely the amount of bodies that are here. Oh, Lecro, that's a great kill, but RPK is there with the return. Alex struggling to find an opening, but actually he's so far in the corner that when the flashes go away, they don't even check for it, and somehow it still ends up a one versus one, and both of them have orbs, so even with Forest low on health, that might not even matter all that much. He's sneaking close to it. 30 seconds. Let's see. NBK. He's got a great off angle right. Very hard to read if you're Forrest. And Smoke going to do nothing at all for him. NBK able to pick it up. And that will be a 10th round for Vitality. They got... I mean, there, there it is. There's the numbers. Is that play? This one from Alex. I mean, even blinded and smoked off. No one is expecting it. Look, they got two kills. Forrest picks off Apex. Lecro finds RPK. They don't expect Alex to be there whatsoever. He's got plenty of time to recover from the flash and just have a, f a solid few free kills. 
Even at the end, I don't think Forrest realized quite how much information Vitality had that whole round. He's expecting NBK to be coming from the deep bomb site instead of already being available at the site. Rush out long, and three people at the corner here for the CT side, waiting one of them in the pit, and that's going to be RPK to take down Forrest. And I kind of like the idea. I don't know why the rest of the team was so slowed down. Surely they they try and go behind that. I think there's just so many smokes, so many flashbangs out. Someone caught an awkward one, and look at all the damage that's been done as well. Rez can't get back involved in those fights. It's way too scrappy for 2 HP. Same with Plopski at 27. This is the one they want, though. Zaiwu out in the open. Maybe a lucky flashbang, maybe unfortunate timing. They have no flashbangs. And they're clearing pit. They still think there's one inside the pit, and there's a great easy shot. And now you get the Thomas involved as well, and Zaiwu's not backing off this. Lekro does pick him up into a two-on-two -two as Apex and NBK rotate over, and you're right. Not that they have no flashbangs, no utility. And so you're boxed in. Apex on the flank and op watching the cross and you have no nades whatsoever. Doesn't feel good. It really doesn't. You need, you need a very, oh, they picked up something. That's good news. At least the smoke, there's still a gap, but the flashbang, they make their way past. So just salvaging something from the ground there, that, that really makes a big difference. Now the bomb does go down. NIP fighting for a ten for a fifth round here, which again I don't think is anywhere near good enough here. T side on dust two, but it is what's possible right now. MBK close. Oh, we actually. Oh, so that was Apex getting the kill. Now Necro one in return tries for the flick and a little bit of a jump there for NBK. And again, he's been very good, but this is not going to be enough. He gets shot in the face. Quad kill for Lecro, and that's going to be 10-5 at the end of the first half. Stay with us, and we'll be right back with the second half. Warren. We tried. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here's second half on Dust 2 between NIP and Vitality. 
the uh, last best of one here of the day. And um, right now, Vitality are looking like a really powerful team. We've seen some cool uh, individual performances out of NIP, but it, they have seen a little bit lost. Forest is at 13 kills, had a lot of great orb kills. On the other side, though, Alex at 18, Apex at 15, Saiwu at 13. And they're up 10-5 on the French side. I, I don't know. French, British side? We, we, do we have to be, I guess we should. I think we just go French. You think? Oh, right. Yeah. The French would appreciate that. Yeah, they very much would. Well, we've been calling a French team for a while. Yeah, I mean, that was that was a really cool... I mean, obviously, the NBK opping was sick, but also Apex, like, brimming with confidence. He was pushing, he was flanking, he was just pushing up middle randomly. Vitality doing everything right across the map to have information whenever they needed it. Here we go up Catwalk. Lecro. Trying to investigate, but hasn't seen anything now. The sound cues come out now. He calls it out to his teammate. Look at the shift. Get right, going to get a bit more aggressive on the railing. And you've got Rez, who's got to manage his attention between Long and Catwalk. This is actually going to be a pretty tough defense. Yes, it will. Saiwu's out there on Long, so the question is timing. Oh, that's a great shot. Lecro with a double get right also. A single tap away, but he's going to be gone afterwards. Saiwu coming out Long, and he can only get the one. And then he needed a double there. Oh, no, RPK. That took a little bit too long, and they're going to be winning the round on the NIP side. Yeah. Maybe... <sighs> go yeah. on. No, 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 you go ahead. Well, I wasn't going to say anything important, Moses, so you, <laughs> it sounded to me like you were going to make a comment about the game. I, the Lecro, I'm just amazed that he gets two kills from that position. What, what a lifesaver. Getright had to turn from a flashbang. They were swinging out very wide on him, and that's always going to be a tough angle if you get, like, two clocks peppering that headshot angle at the railing. Yeah. So those kills from Lecro are so massive. It, it, it alleviates so much pressure off Getright, which is huge, because if he goes down, Rez is screwed, and then the defense collapses. So fair play to Lecro. Those are some beautiful shots. Yeah, he heard them in the middle as well early on, right? So he he got got a good uh, good little run in that round. I was going to say, if it is like a, a French French British team, we call it we could call it the Unholy Alliance. Was how about that? Was that the comment you were going to make before I? Yeah, yeah. I just, it seems like an unlikely cooperation. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's some history between the countries, you know. There is. Glad they found a way to Ooh, make it work. That is a grenade and a half. You dream about that. Astralis level nade. <laughs> <laughs> it's this new mod we have. You level oh, it up here's the run boost. And it it failed again, yes! yes. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy in a really sick, sadistic sort of way. Alex is the only one left. Why is it like that? Why is it like clockwork each and every time someone tries that boost? It's just beautiful, isn't it? Because people could figure it out like on every other part of, of any other map, really. But like that one place, it's like people just slip and stumble. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's see it in slow motion, maybe. Yeah, he's going for it. Uh, and he just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this game is I phenomenal. Would, I would love for someone to make like a compilation of like 50 different times that run boost fails. Just, just over and over and over. That's just the video. <laughs> like you think it's gonna be something different when you start it, but then you realize along the way, like, oh, it's another three minutes of this. Would you put the circus music on it as well? Yeah, like the, the Benny Hill. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, we do, yeah, that, that would make sense. Yeah, Benny Hill works as well. I don't know. Maybe you, maybe you do disguise it. I would love it if it was like, you know, like a dubstep drop every time they land, you know, and it's like, you think it's going to be epic. It's built up, build up hype for it, and then they just don't go anywhere with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, seven to I, ten in the favor of Vitality. I want to imagine as well that people get all hyped up when they do the, like, let's go, let's like, ready, three, two, one. Where we, <laughs> they just, this is going to be the time it works. It absolutely falls apart. I'm so happy they did that. Makes me like Vitality even more. <laughs> <laughs> well, a tough defense for the ninjas, as there's about to be a split uh, towards this a bomb setter, though. It might be held back because, oh, there's a flashbang right through. They're coming out long. Rez has to back away. Lecro's got to come help out, but Rez doesn't need any of it. He's got a double. Get right with one. And actually, this works out perfectly. I cannot believe how easy they made that look. And Zaiwu, you might as well get the bomb planted because... You're not going to have a whole lot of time to get that down in just a moment. Trying to get one kill. Dinked and finished off. I think Vitality might have liked that extra 800, but 10 to 8 now as NIP closes the gap. If, if you eat a flashbang that much and all you have is a UMP, you're supposed to be dead. That was actually a really cool fake. We didn't get to see that from Get Right, but that was well done. Well, that was the thing. If Rez doesn't get that double kill, if he goes down, then there's only one defender. 
Yeah. And he's stuck, but you know, he's stuck at, you know, at car essentially, stuck between long and catwalk and get right obviously finding that one as they drop down CT spawn is, is quite nice. Deagle eats a nade, eats a Molotov, and NBK is down to 25. This is actually starting to look a little bit better for an IP. There's, there's actually something to build off here. Five deals. Can we get another run boost? No, okay. No? Instead, trying to do it the old-fashioned way, and they are actually going to get some great entries here. We'll make it a three-on-three three with a big... Well, should be an easy bomb plant. No one there to stop it. They don't have any grenades, and that might hurt them in the long run. Rez has been holding down here along with an MP7, though. Oh, and that's a big one. That's a really big kill. Plopsky having a tough first game. He already has one Cologne. Molotov to block off Catwalk. Rez coming up long, and he needs to be very impactful as he retakes this bomb site. Got right coming up the ramp as well. They do have two kits out of utility. There's one kill. There's the follow up, and it's just Alex. They probably know exactly where he is, but he's got a kill early on. He commits. He's out in the open, and Get Right shuts him down. He's got the kit, as we mentioned, and that's going to be a diffuse and a ninth. But that's a lot of economic damage. Yeah, it really is. I think Alex, you know, wanted to try and see if he could maybe catch the timing of Get Right there by pushing up even further instead of just hiding in the corner. Let's see. That's too much. That, that, that's too complicated for me, Moses. I can't, my brain is trying to, to, to process the data, but I just don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you all see what I'm working with. <laughs> <laughs> Four players towards the people. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really get it either. I don't know why. I just couldn't. Listen, I'll, I will talk about it another time. It's <laughs> It's... I don't know. I, I wanted to say it's too early. It's obviously not, but yeah, something about that didn't work for me. Now we have a double op on the NIP side, and there's also one on Saewoo. That's another just amazing grenade landing at the feet of RPK and NBK. Alex goes down the middle, sneaking out. That could get really interesting. You may get right having a bit of a smoke fight here, and get right going to come out on top. And now Plopsky holding close with the Org. Does get the instant headshot and now falling back through the smoke. Actually, really smart play, repositioning himself. And yeah, this B defense sh should be absolutely rock solid. Plopsky coming up with a triple kill. Nicely done. I wonder if that's an idea from Vitality to say, like, Plopsky's defending B. Let's go attack him. He's only got three kills. Let's let's test the rookie early. Either way, that fight needed to be won in middle. The fact that Gerrite's able to win that, you know, means that there's only the one front. It's all coming from the B bomb site. And on top of that, three defenders there. If they're able to eliminate uh, Gerrite in middle, at least it's just two. NIP have five in a row now on this CT side, on this defense. And Plopsky manages this, as you mentioned, very, very well. The reposition after the first kill, after getting blinded as well. And he's got so many teammates to keep the attention of Vitality away from him. Timeout being called here for the Vitality side. 10 to 10, all tied up. Not what I was expecting. That's five rounds in a row for NIP in the second half. Yeah, they're putting this together very nicely, all things considered, especially because the first half looked, uh, looked very, very rough. Both teams struggling on their offensive side on Dust 2. Vitality... Still time to recover in that sense. Scout on Zaiwoo, two Kriegs on board, two AK-47s in play as well. Forrest, you're not afraid at all to take that fight, and he comes out on top, so... Still the Kriegs. Cool. Apex, a little bit aggressive here in the middle. Forrest is up on the scaffolding up there by the B-bomb site. And defense is looking pretty tight right now for NIP. Vitality clearing out catwalk, bringing the bomb down middle. I'm wondering if they were, wanted to go for like a B split, but... They don't really have the, uh, the option for it, do they? Not at the moment, it feels. You could just go for it. Forrest has the AWP still boosted up on the scaffolding. And two players on catwalk for Vitality, but it seems like they're a little nervous to try and challenge for map control. It looks like they're just content to set up on catwalk, have a set piece. You've got NBK who's going to come out long late, but you need an entry and you're going up against, I mean, Lecro's got that op over towards car, so I guess, I mean, your flashbangs better be on point and you're probably going to rely on a miss at, at some level. 
Bobski falling back down, afraid someone might actually jump down to try and get him. That's Rez going down instead, and Necro, well, either way, he was going to go down. MBK was coming out as long as well. Plopski gets a headshot, and that's a, that's actually a really important shot there. Still, the bomb is going to be going down, and that's NBK sneaking out long, able to get that. The smoke is up, but Gerrite still somehow able to find that. It looked like NBK had the advantage in that one. Now, Alex. Been a pretty good game for him so far, but he's one versus two trying to hold on to this bomb and finally allow Vitality to pick up a round here on the T side, which they have not done yet. He's hiding behind this car, which he seems to really enjoy. And they're going to be spamming right through. That's what I'm talking about, Moses. Those, th just I no believed coverage. you. Did you? Don't say like I didn't believe you. Never believed me. I would have had your back the whole time. Yeah. As usual. Doesn't sound even remotely beautiful when you say it like that. <laughs> That's a nice retake. And I think, as you mentioned, the big kill is that one Plopski. Preserve, preserve the advantage. Wow, that actually looks like a way more difficult shot from, for his side. Yeah, and the blood giving up the fact of Alex's positioning behind that car, trying to sneak into where Getright had just taken out his opponent. Getright's had some uh, some big kills, some big battles to get into and later on in these rounds yes. that have really allowed them to, to, to retake bomb sites. He's been very effective. And another pick for NIP, another pick with the AWP. This time it's Lecro. What are we up to now? Six rounds in a row for uh, for an IP on the CT side. Yes. Uh, which is really again kind of the polar opposite of what I was expecting. So that's it, that's interesting. It's nice to be wrong on some of these things. And it's been a very different style than how Vitality was able to rattle off their defensive rounds. NIP's been just pretty much rock solid. Nothing too crazy. They didn't have, they have no one like Apex. Okay, that's not bad. Throw the AWP away so they can't get it because you know you're going to push out and get aggressive. It's all on Plopski. He's had some struggles in this game, but these are low HP players and he handles it well. NIP's defense is much more just like standard. They're just they're just nailing it. I mean, everything's you're not seeing like the apex like pushes up mid or the flanks in upper B. The most the most we're getting, the most crazy stuff that we're seeing is just picks from the CT side up mid. And I think that's probably gonna stop now after that save round, because you know when Op's gonna come out for Zaiwoo. Yeah, you might get to a position where that is not really worth it anymore. Um, I agree. But yeah, I mean if it's working, if you're winning some of these early fights, then why not just keep doing that? Why try and risk it and, and throw in too much aggression or anything else? I mean, Vitality had a bunch of, like, they were, you're right, Apex was being aggressively, but they were also boosting on Catwalk. They were doing, like, a bunch of different things to try and and swap out the defense. Doesn't seem like NIP are really interested right now. Well, I mean, Vitality hasn't really proved they can they can break the defense, right? Yeah. 12 to 10, two round lead for NIP. Again, I am really, really interested to see how this is going to be playing out. And I feel, it just feels like Vitality on the second half just haven't been able to define anything that makes these rounds easier. They're not getting any picks. Saiwu so with that AWP is not able to find any openings before the set pieces come into play. You have to imagine pretty soon we'll see some kind of an adjustment, whether it's pacing, whether it's stylistic out of the French side, but at the moment, they're just getting shut out. Get right over at Lone Lecro. They are at the car. It feels like it could be a B split. Just the way that they're set up here. They've cleared out Catwalk again. Might just be faking this out. And then who's going to be throwing that mid to that mid smoke to CT spawn? NBK going to be jumping down instead and finding out that there's nobody here. So they don't even want that smoke now. Two people defending mid here, out of the B bomb side. It's Plopski coming up with a huge double kill. And Forrest and Lecro, that double off, still doing work. And Plopski's gonna win that last fight to make it a triple. He's really making up for uh, a he, bit of a slow start. Yeah, he hit three kills in the first half. He's up to 12 now. This has been phenomenal from Plopski to recover. And, and a little bit of confidence as they come at him at that B bomb side. And you can tell he's starting to feel a bit better about his game. I have an idea. You have an idea. Famous... Last words. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I really like some of those really, really fast mid pushes on the T side. Okay. Like wait. I think I think the biggest thing that's gonna prevent Vitality from doing something like that is the amount of times that there's been like someone picking mid, right? I think that that makes that. But you want that if they have the orb, right? You actually kind of want them. You to... want them to be in mid. You don't want them peeking all the way up and spotting it. Well, that's. So you would trust Zaiwu. 
Yeah. But it is still a bit of a gamble. Listen, just give, sacrifice a few people on the way, you know? At this point, you've lost eight in a row. Try, try some crazy stuff. Try something new. I mean, the previous round, Plopsky gets very... I mean, this is what's scary if you're Vitality. You feel like everything's going against you. Plopsky gets that double kill through the smoke, doesn't even see the second player, and it just works out perfectly. NIP making all the right reads and all the right rotations. All the right friends in all the right places? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let her up in the... A bomb site with Rez over at long. So again, one of those one of those kind of defenses here where if you lose either Lecro or Rez, the other player is going to be in trouble. Though a lot of damage to Alex early on. Get right waiting down there. He's actually going to get the kill on Alex and Lecro holding his own so far. And now things are looking fine here. They're up against the pistols. Oh, get right living through that. I don't know how. Yeah, Vitality's bullets have stopped working. There is uh, three ops on this CT side. Wait, Rez killed Get Right with a grenade? And that was like after the fact, wasn't it? Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Just no respect but for the yes. uh, for, yeah. no respect for the elderly in this. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is going on? Oh, everything's landing. Last minute adjustments being called out. Vitality. <laughs> needing a timeout We're on the verge of throwing in the towel here in the in their opening game of ESO one Cologne 14 to 10 in the favor of NIP it's been all defense on dust two this is so ridiculous how how on earth have they done this nine straight a little bit of time here to talk Look at the money as well for NIP. It's like not even, there's, there's not a whole lot of, uh, they haven't even really been pressured. Their money's not pressured in any way. Vitality really, if they want to make this comeback happen at 10 to 14, they've got to do it on hard mode. Forrest taking a shot for the door. Get right hiding in the corner. Round number 25. And NIP coming up with an unexpected show of force here on the second half of dust two vitality were really having a, a really great time in the first half and you could see it as well on how they were sort of looking on the camera there they were just you know having a, having a fun time laughing and and enjoying the game and that is that's really been washed away hasn't it again this res and lecro set up over at the a bomb site Let's see if they could find anything plopski's Oh, it looked like he wanted to sneak for the smoke over there on uh, B bomb site. Rez, though, holding close to the door this time around. This position will be fine. There's no flashbangs, and he even gets called out. Rez gets aggressive when he sees the nade. He knows it's clear as well. Lecro can stick around with the AWP and actually watch for this. He's got Get Right to look for the drop. Oh, and the Molotov right behind the smoke. They're going to have to run a little bit through it. It does decent damage, and Get Right's waiting for the drop down. But they made their way into the site. It might not matter. It's Alex in a one versus three. He's got to get the ace. And NIP looking to be on map point, and he has no idea. Get Right is still around, and he's giving so much information over to his team. Yeah, Get Right smartly just waiting, saying, you know, just might as well wait for everyone to get here. If he tries to shot and misses it and, and instantly gets shot down, that's not worth it either. So. Much more safely way to, uh, to play it then. That's going to be another round here for NIP 14. Oh, sorry, 15 is going to be the name of the game. 15 to 10. I didn't think... It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I didn't think... I didn't think... I didn't think it was going to be this easy for NIP in the second half. Like, the fact that they've come into this with all the things going on, all the craziness, and sometimes there's more stock. I mean, these are... Some of the most experienced players between Forrest and Get Right. Rez is, you're going to call him a veteran at this point. Same with Lecro. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of ways to mentally know that you're going to have to like work through that and kind of ignore the distractions outside of the game. But I didn't think they'd come into this CT side and just absolutely blank Vitality. Yeah, this is, this is really unexpected. Quick early angle here for NBK towards the B bomb side. Hasn't seen anyone yet. They might, or oh, they're all gonna come right through. Popsky on the other side. Gonna pick up the first kill, flashbang. The bomb is down in the low ground and they're gonna get the kill on him, but Forrest still there. And now he's got the Deagle out instead. Gonna try and see if he can find NBK. And I can't believe what we're seeing. Ladies and gentlemen, 16-10 as NIP take down Vitality. A flawless second half. 
I I, do, I can't remember if I've anything, seen anything like this. 11, it's unbelievable. 11 rounds in a row. Vitality had absolutely no answers. Lecro with 25, Force with 22, Get Right at 19. What a beautiful performance from the Ninjas to start ESL 1 Cologne, where they won the Major back in 2014. That's it for this one. We're sending it over to the desk.